Listener warning. Despite some references to this upcoming podcast being episode 12, rest assured, it's episode 13. Hey, 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 up, uh, Magpod 12, here we are, 12. my name's Matt Allen, your host, and the other host is sitting right opposite me, Mr. Tim Bowler, we are here at the Nest, Botsy, yep. welcome back once again. Oh, it is, it's good, good to be back, Matty, um, sitting across from you. Uh, it's Thursday, it's last night was Wednesday, it was, it was quite a late night, my, oh. my, the vocal cords have Kind of survive, I reckon. They're not mm. too bad. A little, little husky. Um, and, uh, yeah, a bit of a late night by the time I got home on the Shane train. Thanks, Shane, for the, for the lift, lift back. Yeah. Um, but why, Matt? Why? Well. Are we getting to it first? Do we start off with it? Well, I don't know. I'm just, this is just how I'm feeling <sighs> right now. Because I'm looking out there. It says 22.09. On the, uh, the scoreboard mm. at the nest, there probably recording a little bit later than we would like to be. Yes, but this is this, this is the kind of stuff we go through to mm. bring this show to it you, our uh, avid Magpod listeners, whether it be on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or mm-hmm. whatever, whatever your, your podcast of choice is, or YouTube. Where was I going? Good reviews on them, uh, but yeah, this is what we do. We go back to back late nights. Late nights, yeah, it is back to back late nights. Back to back late nights to produce this beautiful show for, <laughs> for our beautiful listeners yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, but yeah. Um, yes, it was a late night, and your vocal cords are a little bit sore. Well, those that didn't hear the news, um, and this is the latest news in the playing perspective um, for the club, is the the ones boys in the Stars Electrical Premier League. Hockey WA Premier's uh, Premier competition. Mm. Uh, we're playing in the whatever the name of the final is, but it's the one before the one to get you into the semi final. Mm. No, it's the one before to get you in to get you into the semi final. Um, we came up against Hale um, in a pulsating and exciting contest. We were two nil up. Uh, they put it back to two two. Yeah, in the second half. And then Benny Rennie. Uh, the saved, saved a stroke. Uh, that was in the first. No, wasn't it a two-two? The, the stroke was saved. No. I, I, look, I so was, we, I was, we I, put a goal I, in I was exhil- through Brooksy and a PC. In the I was first. exhilarated and excited. We did, and then uh, a PC uh, through uh, a good tackle for your favourite Tasmanian Gobbin. Yeah, uh, was harshly punished. Stroke. Ben Rennie steps up, does what Ben Rennie does, makes a save. Then we get another one through Aaron Hazel, our leading goal scorer, number 12, episode 12 this is. Good omen that. Yeah. Um, put the goal in, and then in the third quarter they came back, got two. Yeah. Matt Bird gets a beautiful reverse stick off a short corner, put us 3-2 up with around about, what, 10 minutes yeah. ago, I think it was. And then one of their blokes got a lucky touch in off uh, a couple of rebounds saved from Ben Rennie. Yeah, yeah. And then... Um, Obviously, we had to play the first period of extra over extra time with one player down. Sure, yeah, yeah. Because, um, 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 de- yes. Um, de- uh, de- well, more more to come on that. Yeah, yeah. We <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. I don't know how much trouble we'll get into. But um, yeah, Dill had to sit out for the first, and then the second. We obviously pushed really hard. We had a, well, we actually had multiple opportunities throughout the whole OT, and then. Um, when we when you go and, and and we've got the best keeper in the world for that yeah you know um, Ben Rennie did his Ben Rennie things and but Ben Rennie also had a, a lot of support with the with our strikers we all put ours away four from four from four so uh, but yeah but he saved three from four and was unlucky yeah. with the one that went in went up up off the toe and looped up and over and it could have gone over the bar or wide or well, whatever and so. and um, even the uh, you know the Kookaburra oh, immunity oh, oh the, re, the retake got, yeah he got yeah. he got to take it twice to miss twice um, but you know that's why Ben Rennie's the king and um, they're enjoying a thirsty Thursday so. That's uh, that's where we're at with that game, but it was a it was a good game, and then that was obviously off the back of Sunday. Oh, sorry, yes, Saturday. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. A three-one win over um, yep. YM. 
yeah. at the stadium. Yeah. Jeez, there's a lot of hockey fitting fit yeah, so in this past like, week, isn't there? Hang on, we've missed one, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so if you wondered how we got to, to play against Hale, as so Hale finished second in the regular season, granted they're missing uh, their two big strike uh, threats that carried them so far in the season so with um, Liam Flynn and Sam McCulloch who were both playing in Europe now mm. um, even so you know you mm. can only beat the teams you're going to play and so they, yeah, we, we, we knocked YM off 3-1 mm-hmm. uh, up here at Chess on Saturday late afternoon um, 2-1 with a when Tyler Lovell was Dragged. We got the third, didn't we? There. And uh, was, you know, yeah. Was that another yeah. game? So I didn't get to watch that. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 Anyway, that's all right. That's the blokes' news. What game were you at? Oh, I was. Uh, that's a good segue. It was. It was. So no, I was at the Div Five girls. They were trying to book their ticket into the grand final. Obviously, so that's our twos women. Yep. So our twos women. Um, they obviously got the second chance after losing to Whitford's the week before. Um, so we were out at Aquinas Turf at Saturday, same time as the men. Um, unfortunately, the girls didn't start off very well, Maddie Allen. We had no energy. We let a goal in the first quarter and about five, ten minutes in, um, it was not looking good. Uh, we were looking at straight sets straight out. Um, and um, if it wasn't for Kai Rowcroft deciding to take one for the team and uh, copping a ball to the face, the ball is still round for those asking at home. Um, but unfortunately for Clyde, she she did cop the ball to the face. The ambulance was called and... Um, <clears throat> a fracture and a break. Yeah, fracture yeah. and a break. So our promotional hero has just continued giving to the team and, you know, when she couldn't be out there, she decided to change. And from that moment on, we went and got a goal through the Evergreen. Jade Nelson tapped one in and then um, we went to uh, strokes by the end of OT. And that's where we relied on our cable, just talking about Ben Rennie, but we have Imogen, I think it's Will's who last know of. Yeah. Yep. Um, she was a superstar. She saved three out of the four that she had at her, um, and I think she even got a touch on the, the other one. And, uh, yeah, put us straight through to, well, put us through to the grand final where we can hopefully get redemption against Whitford's. This Saturday, there's been a bit of mucking around with the game time. So 3.30 at Hale. 3.30 at Hale versus Whitford's. Not at Lemnos. Don't go no. there. That's been changed. Don't go at 2.45. It's 3.30. Now, I do have uh, something that I would like to do on the show tonight, Matt. Oh, there's, no other, there's, no, there's no other um, no other hockey on on Saturday afternoon. I don't believe there is. So, not of any worth or meaning. So, get your backsides down there, magpies. Mm-hmm. Magpies. And if you want to know the team that you'll be supporting, uh, this is the team. I'll announce it here. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Well, it's a grand final edition. Why not? Uh, so, yep, Imogen will oh, be hang, in. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, sorry. We've got to get ready for this. Oh, okay. So, we're scripted here. Okay, away you go. Yep. Imogen will. Oh, keep going. Peggy Taylor, oh, got Heidi Rochester. No, 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 oh. Oh, oh, there we go. So, Peggy. Heidi, Rochester, Keely Case, Maya Falls, Leah O'Donnell, Claire Mortimer, Hannah Ryan Gladson, Hannah Claddingbowl. It seems some, some are more popular than, than Oh, this. yeah. <laughs> Laura Pintoni, Arizona Galbraith, Lara Healy, Jess Johnson, Kobe Roadcroft, Jade Nelson, and unfortunately... Caitlin did a uh, calf last night, and Bree comes back into the side. Oh, oh wrong one. So, that's yeah, Bree. yeah. So, that's the side to take on Whitford's on Saturday. There we go. Perfect. Done. Do you want to hear about my Sunday then? Oh, sure. Oh, just more claps. Yeah, really I'm happy. Liking this. Really happy. Happy. I don't normally get that. Oh, anyway, well, we were, Sunday we had was well, to try and book our ticket into the grand final and have a week off. Of course. So we um, obviously the weather was nice. We had a big crowd there. Um, at PHS. At PHS two. Yep. Uh, Twelve thirty game. This is our Premier Three women uh, ones. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, so was was the only side that we haven't beaten. Uh, we drew against them and lost against them. So obviously. We went in, we started hot. 
we were we were good to start. I've never we've actually never started this good all season. We had good energy, we had good ball movement, we created a lot of opportunity. We had I think a corner in the first five minutes, the ball hit the post. Um, you know, throughout the season that had kind of gone gone our way. Um, and we, we really had to work hard. I think we got our first goal around about five minutes into the last quarter. Uh, Matty Murphy, obviously, well, obviously. Goal 87 that, of the season. Uh, 33 for this season. And then not to be outdone, Mackenzie, um, our second leading goal scorer, chipped in with her 16th goal with around about 10 minutes to go. Um, there was, uh, and then she, she got robbed at the end as well. Um, she's hit the, the, the buzzer's not really working down there at PHS. So the umpire's watching the clock and pretty much as soon as it's gone to one, he's blowing his whistle and it still, you know, counts down. Yeah. And, um, but you know, but you know, Mm. the umpire's whistle is what matters in the game. Buzzers don't matter. Yeah. That's why the goal didn't count, but he could have taken his tablet in the morning and he wouldn't have been premature on the blow. And we would have had the third goal. <laughs> that sounds like some kind of terrible like, euphemism, but that, 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 that does that, sound that, bad. That, that's, that's fine. Anyway, we um, we won two 0 We booked our ticket Fantab- into oh, the grand final. Just, where's the Where's the applause? You, know, you can do it manually if you want. Oh, a manual clap for the girls. So into those, the grand final. Into the grand final. So for those uh, members playing at home who. Do not know, but we have an opportunity at the double 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 promotion, which we've already got, and now the double flag, hopefully. So for our top two grades, which I don't think's been done in club history. So, and if it has, prove me wrong. All right. All right. Well, I'll prove you wrong. Go on, do it. There well, you, go. you might remember back in 1992. Yeah. No, I don't. Sorry. I don't can't, either. Can't, I was too. Can't, can't help you. Yeah, I was very, very young then. There very we go. Young, much younger than I am now. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, oh um, good stuff. Yeah, and I forgot to mention just Kaya. She's doing fine. She does have a broken nose and socket, but she's doing fine, and hopefully we'll get her down there on Sunday. Uh, Saturday, sorry. Fingers crossed. Yep. Uh, coffee machine message you, Kaya. Oh. Come home. Come home <laughs> soon. Um, here's a little uh, snippet. Somebody said to me, somebody maybe... Uh, was pumping out mm-hmm. some stuff out of the kitchen this evening, uh, Good. talking about their son, and uh, their son said, uh, "Magpod, mm-hmm. it's my favourite podcast." Oh, what else? And mother, mean? mother said to son, "Oh, son, what other podcast do you listen to?" Son replied, "Oh, no, that, that's that's the only one." Why would you need any other? You don't need any other, do you? We won't need it. And that now that they're all up there, some people have some catching up today. So. Now, if you are listening on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or wherever your you know your podcast mm. provider is, subscribe, yeah, follow, like, review, tell your friends, review, yeah, tell your friends, mention it to strangers on the bus, yep, anybody that might be interested. Sponsors, mm. we've got some wonderful sponsors here at the we club. Do. Some wonderful sp- sponsors. Any off the top of the head? Off Square. Yep. Um, real um, um, leading um, uh, business within the resources game. Thanks, Yorma. Yep, thanks, Yorma. I've got Good a hockey re- player too. Got to read that script somewhere. Yeah. Um, MKS. Yep. Great accountants. Great. The Sporting Globe. Rockingham, Mandurah, Floria. Mm-hmm. Floria's good. Good. Uh, Ooh, Terra Rosa, mm-hmm. Bateau, Ballast, yep, uh, Caves House Hotel, Perfect. Marvel Dental. There we go. Now they're following. Marvel Family Dental, Fremantle Physiotherapy Centre. There we are. Ah, uh, we missed. Uh, I'm looking out the window here, yes. Botsy, but I can't see the scoreboard because the sponsors are rolling through there at the moment. Yeah. Project Neon. Ne- yes. Um, Blaze Conveyancing. Yeah. Don't ask me any because I. Uh, you can phone in if, if anybody. Um, yeah, if we forgot. Can remember any uh, sponsors that we've not mentioned? Give us a call now on. <laughs> what's your number? Oh, four. Five, no. <laughs> okay. Um, um, we are very 
Yes, we'll no, have, we'll now, have a you see, now this no, this is going to be half arse now, isn't it? Because mm. we haven't actually done the work to look at the yeah. the thing. Um, we're just relying on some bloke's memory. But normally the memory's pretty good there, Maddie. So right. I'm back. You All know. right, we'll go with that. We'll go yeah, with that. Yeah, we'll go. All with right, that. that's we'll just good. have to um, do a correction corner next week. Okay. So I believe we've got <coughs> a little bit of audio. We do. Um, mm. You caught up with oh your favourite. One of your favourites, Gobbin Gill. Oh yeah, yeah, he's my favourite, favourite Tasmanian. Favourite Tasmanian time. and yeah. and and the club son, Matt Bird. We caught up with him, and uh, we had another special guest from the girls, Sally Fakeney, and uh, yeah, that so, was yeah. I heard you know some contro- controversy on uh, how it's it's pronounced. <sighs> yeah, well, I mean, you said Sally, no, I and said Finnicky. Oh right, sorry, sorry. sorry. Just, I'm dyslexic. That's how it's, that's it's how it's so read in my head. But anyway, that, yeah. All right. Well, um, sit back, relax, and here we go. So I'm here, joined by a couple of uh, the ones boys, fresh off their shootout victory over Hale last night. Goblin Gill, Matty Allen's favourite, and. Uh, the son of Fremantle, Matthew Bird. So, firstly, boys, uh, how are you feeling after last night? How's the body? Uh, yeah, not too bad. I think the common theme throughout the boys tonight at training was had a few sore bodies, uh, just putting in a shift before a uh, big game on Sunday. Uh, definitely. Matty? Uh, I think for me it was uh, pretty good to see us fight out on the... And then in the final, like we uh, were up and then we were down, and it was a bit of ebbs and flows, but the boys really grounded out, so it's good to see us build. Yeah, so just touching on that, obviously, Hale uh, reigning premiers, so that's something a good feather to have in the back of your, your cap there uh, leading into the next couple of weeks. Obviously, UWA, a different opponent. So, how much confidence do you take from, from beating the reigning premiers, particularly in a game like last night where you've ebbed and flowed, you're up by two, penalty shootout, all of that sort of stuff? I think we take a bit of confidence. It's like uh, it's like betting, isn't it, Botsy? Like <laughs> you, you always bet on the horse that's actually winning and got some good form. So we're in good form mm. at the moment, which is nice, and we're just going to keep building towards each game. Yeah. And what about you, Gob? Yeah, I'm just sort of overlapping on B. I I think if you look at our squad and where we were, you know, April, June, uh, we've come leaps and bounds and we're probably the most informed team and we're although we're not playing the prettiest hockey we're we're finding ways to win and, mm. and that's what counts so any opponent if we just you know find a way to win and grind them down I, I trust the boys and we back ourselves in yeah so what what has been the turnaround because you guys haven't lost for months like you've you've had a few draws in there understandably but you haven't lost from where we were where you know at some points it did look like we we weren't we're struggling a little bit. We're just waiting for it to gel. What's changed? What's gelled? I think it's just um, I think the, the sort of um, the attitude and the drive that Devo expects out of us at training. Um, and I guess we've had a pretty new squad this year, and it, it's starting to click. And at the end of the day, if you look at the 69th minute, we're still putting in the yards no matter what the result and we're, we're willing to run end to end. You see our strikers defending in the circle. On the flip side, you see us getting forward. Um, and yeah, and we're just working hard for each other and for the team result at the end of the day. And I think that's what that's what success is built on. It's the team that's willing to, willing to put in the yards, so. Yeah, I agree. I think one thing to add on top of Gob's comment there would be probably the belief now, like you, as you said, we haven't actually lost a game for a while now, which we're starting to believe that, you know what, we could actually take it all the way. Mm. We, we've come up against some pretty pretty hot teams in the back end of the season and really, really took it to them. So we didn't play our best hockey in those games and we've got another level to go to there. So we, we fancy our chances in these next two, Yeah, so especially this next one. Yeah, I agree. Um, so just, Gobby just mentioned Devo and the belief that he's kind of put into you guys. Um, obviously, he's been playing well as well. Um, what What is it like with Devo, obviously, playing, coaching, everything like that? You had Declan on the sideline as well. He's, he looks like he's really um, helping out there. Um, like how is, you know, without ratting out your coach too much, how, how has he been, um, you know, uh, over the last month and, and with this sort of turnaround? Uh, really good. I, I mean... 
I think he's um, a coach that, that coaches with the experience that he's played and he's obviously played at the top level um, and he knows what it takes and he knows that what the expectations and he knows what our playing group is capable of and so obviously at times that we might, we might get complacent but he's always pushing us to the limit and he, and he talks about the curve, about our arousal levels and all that where we play at that level but we don't tip over the edge um, and... Mm. Yeah, yes, yeah. No tipping over oh the yeah. edge. Come the on, arousal. Come arousal. on, Potsy. Yes, don't, don't give me those eyes, mate. He's sensible, <laughs> sensible for once. It was mate. too professional before oh, that. Come yeah, on, mate. yeah. No. but like just not tipping over the curve. Um, I, I think in the past that we have, and we we get cards, and you know, just sort of we just um, self destruct our own team. But um, we've sort of, I think we're starting to pick up on it, and um, sure. and yeah, mature, and that's been a big mm. word in our team this year, and someone that. That talks about it a lot and talked about it probably from the first game was Dylan Martin and mm. it's the maturity and it's not just the attitude but also on the ball, the, the maturity and the decisions that we make on the ball, um, you know, and, and it's just flown throughout the team. So I think it's just starting to click and, and hopefully we can do something with it. Yeah. And do you have anything to add to that one? No? No, no. What was the question? No, oh, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Matthew Bird. Um, and just finally, just on both your your form, just before we move on to this next game, um, both been playing some good hockey, um, both involved in the shootout last night. Um, how are you guys feeling? You yeah, I, was, I was a bit, I was a bit disappointed. I was hoping, I mean, part of me was hoping Birdie scored it, so you know, just get Didn't. the job done. But half was, I kind of wanted, you know, a little shootout before the real game starts, you know. So, yeah. but. No, I didn't, didn't have to get yours out yeah, today, yeah. Gob. So. <laughs> keep it under wraps. Yeah, yeah under wraps. we'll keep that one under. Um, and then obviously UWA this week. So um, how are you boys feeling? Sunday, what time? 5.45. Prime time, mate. 5.45. Prime perfect, time. Perfect, perfect. Um, what was that? Nothing. Oh, good. And, uh, yeah, so 5.45, UWA, how are you guys feeling? Um, pretty good at the moment. We, um, we've matched up against them quite well throughout the year, so... You beat them here, didn't you? Drew. We drew. Drew. Here. Drew. Drew here. 3-2 yeah. away. 3-2 away, yeah. First, first game, first game, game yeah. 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 Yeah, I think the biggest... game as well. I think mm. the biggest difference... I don't know, well, maybe Birdie's different, but I think the way that I look at it now is you look at the majority of the season, and we're in the change room and we talk about other teams and what they've got but the last few weeks it's it's about us and it's mm. that we are good enough and as long as we play to the standard that we know that we can we we can knock anyone off so no. yeah i think that's what it comes down to it just comes down to us yeah. i think that's completely right especially considering we play against 13 each week so <laughs> as long as we can control what we can control then <laughs> we'll be able to get through the match yeah. and uh Thank you very much. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Well, uh, thanks, boys. Anyway, I'm hoping uh, by around about 7 o'clock on Sunday, you guys are enjoying some leg soup. And um, we are moving forward into a final uh, the following week. Hashtag yeah. leaking goals. <laughs> leaking <Yeah>. goals. <laughs> Ducky. I love it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> thanks, Gubby. Right, thanks, Rossi. Thanks, thanks, Rossi. Thanks, Rossi. I'm joined by the very vocal, the one and only player from the one, Sally. Welcome to Thank the you. pod. Finaki. <laughs> How far wrong am I? Very. Very? What is it then? Fake knee. Fake knee. Yeah. Jeez. I've, been I've only been wrong. playing with you for umpteen years, eh? Two years. Two years. How anyway. long have you known me? Come on. I walked through a uh, silent disco um, <laughs> to get headphones around about 15 times to recruit you, so I this do know you. Um, anyway, Sal, you've uh, obviously been back at the club two years after a little hiatus, a way where we won't talk about. Um, how have you enjoyed being back at the club? Yeah, it's really good. Um, I don't know. I'm glad to be back. I think the... This year compared to last year is very different. The culture's changed. Um, everyone's really positive. The girls are great. The coaches are great. Yeah, I mean, we are. Yeah, we yeah, yeah, better. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Maddie. Um, yeah, no, that's that is true. Um, and then obviously uh, we've had a very good uh, season this year. Um, 
how have you found this season and the success that we've had? And obviously, we're we've booked our ticket into a grand final. Uh, how, how have you uh, enjoyed all that? Yeah, it's been good. Um, winning's always good, you know. Um, obviously, the job's not done and we still want that premiership, but it is good going into the grand final, coming off a win, especially against Wasps, where we haven't beaten them throughout the season, but we managed to get the job done in the final. Um, I think just everything has changed this year, like a couple new players, newcomers from Tassie, um, there's way more confidence in the teams, confidence in each other. There's everyone's getting around each other. It's really good. The environment's great. No, it is. It is. Yeah. Um, and then obviously a little prediction moving forward. Who do you think we will see in the finals? Oh, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Um, Aquinas and Wasps go up against each other this weekend. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, and. Um, yeah, Maddie Allen's just uh, flicking us, flicking us with Lucky Dan, <laughs> like the three-year-old he is. Oh, that was a I good just shot. So. Him in the ear. Um, honestly, I'm hoping. I don't know. I think it'll be Wasp. I genuinely think it'll be Wasp, but I'm hoping for Reds. Not gonna lie, because um, we can score against them way easier. Now, Maddie, when she was interviewed last week in the podcast, said we've perhaps not been our best coming off um, a week off. In, in, in previous weeks and thought that Wasp would probably be the side that we'd meet up once or twice again. Do yeah. you, you think that's the case? I do agree with what she's got to say of coming off a week off, especially oh. coming out of training tonight and Tuesday. I think we were expecting a week off like we're training like we're not playing again. Mm. Um, hopefully that changes next week when we do have something on the line on the Saturday. Um, and I do suspect that Wasp, without having a week off, that they'll be ready to go and they've got their revenge on. They mm. want it. But we just have to want it more. And I think when we play at our best game, then we've got them. Yep. And everyone just has to be on. No, I would 100% agree. Um, so last question for you, Sal. How many of the Magpods have you listened to? That's actually a really good question. Now that they're streaming on Spotify... That was good. I've Keep actually, going. I've listened to about three, I'm not going to lie. Oh. But because you've uploaded them all, I was going to backtrack, but um, time got away from me. I'm sorry. Oh. I really like the English yeah. bloke. He's really lovely to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Botsy, I've got like a question. Oh. On the podcast, mate. I've got I've got a question for you, Botzi. Yeah. How do you think we're heading into the GF next weekend after coming off a week off, and uh, especially with the twos playing this weekend, and then again, yeah. hopefully getting the flag, and then potentially being or not being at training next week. <laughs> well, <laughs> thanks for the question, reverse question, but I'm meant to ask them here, so. Um, nah. Thought I'd put you uh, on yeah, the spot. Yeah, thank you. Um, now nah, we well, firstly the twos are training well. Um, they're, they're looking good, uh, particularly the way that they ended last week. And we traditionally do play well against Whitfords with the twos. Um, yeah, like Maddie, I'm a little bit nervous without having the week off. But um, I do feel like maybe we are a little bit more mature and we have learnt from our mistakes in the ones uh, where we've come off the break. And I think next week we're going to have a really good training session uh, with you getting rowdy around. H O T T O G O, um, <laughs> cranking on the speaker. Um, it will be very nice. Yes, it will. Um, but yeah, no, I'm confident. We're, we've, like I said in the change room on the weekend, we've got the tools in our tool belt to account for and accommodate for anything that we face. I don't think we're going to see anything new in the next couple, well, next week, mm. that we haven't this season. And uh, if we do, we, we'll, we'll weave it, easily cover it. So yeah, um, no, I I'm, I'm, I'm confident. Um, but as a coach, I can't do anything. <laughs> I'm on the sideline, so I'm Except at the mercy. Except pace up and down, and stressfully. But, yeah, yeah, thanks, Jen, on the weekend. She gave me some lollipops, so <laughs> without that, I think I would have struggled. But <laughs> anyway, before another question comes at me, thank you very much, Sally Fake Knee. And, um, <laughs> thanks for pleasure. recruiting me back, Butsy. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Well, that was um, entertaining, insightful. Welcome back, sorry, uh, dear listener, mm. to, to MagPod. Um, 
How do you think that went? Well, it's good until Sal chucked a curly one at me. So it's not. Uh, I asked the did, question. You, you didn't like. You didn't like being in the hot seat, did I you? Didn't, you I didn't. I didn't see you squirming. I was very uncomfortable. I was. Well, I wasn't expecting it. I don't like being dropped on the spot. But um, no, it was good. I think good insights from both well, all three players. Um, and some special comments from the uh, peanut gallery as well. Yeah, well, I, was, I could see. I was outside at the time, and somebody kept. Shouting stuff in through Yeah, and flicking lackeys and yeah. <laughs> very childish behaviour. <laughs> I mean, that's such a professional podcast as well. Um, well we're number all one. right, moving on. Um, don't forget, leek soup is available on Sunday evening at PHS. A um, few very dates for the diary: the senior wind up the twenty mm-hmm. first of September. Tickets are available to book now. You can go to our website, freeohockey.com, or around the club you'll see some posters with little QR codes. You can click on the QR code. It'll take you to the ticket Mm -hmm. uh, booking page, 75 bucks a ticket. That'll include a feed and a small amount of uh, beverage. Um, and And Endless uh, good times. A whole bucket full Mm -hmm. of... Good times, of course, come down and celebrate your club mates, winning uh, Team of the Year Award and the Laurie yep. Packham Award Hudson. and the Hudson Award and Fairest and Best Awards and Life Memberships and all of that wonderful stuff. Beautiful Dancing on Tables, Jade Nelson. Let's see, let's see. I, I don't think there's been many that she hasn't. Um... Slightly more pressing, yeah. Bird Cup tomorrow night here Ooh. at the Nest. It's um, a mix of uh, juniors and seniors playing against each other with a view for that transition for the 11-12 age group primarily mm. um, into senior hockey, get to know some of the managers and some of the players and try and bridge that gap a little mm. bit um, so it's not quite as daunting to return next year after your last year of junior hockey, going into senior hockey, so yeah. that's really you know. That's, I think that's it's, great. Yeah, it's yeah. a it's a super thing that we do. Um, so looking forward to that. I might, I might, I think I'm on. I'm on. You're on. Yeah. What, for a game or? Yeah, no, I'm playing. I'm playing. Ooh, ooh, I didn't get a call up against so. the youngsters. I didn't get a call up. Obviously, didn't score enough goals this year. Pull enough votes. Uh, well, I'm sure there's a spot for you. Eight fifteen. The. Uh, the males game kicks off. The girls game kicks off at the females game kicks off at seven fifteen. Seven fifteen to eight fifteen. Yeah, I might be in bed. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've put some dates out on our socials for summer hockey. I saw that. So mid October, I think fifteenth, Monday the fifteenth. No, Tuesday the fifteenth is um, when the Tuesday to Friday comps will start. The men's 50 stuff will start a couple of weeks earlier than that. Yep. Um, but, yeah, regios will go out next week so that all, all the sort of finer details will mm-hmm. get those out. I just wanted to put some dates out so people know that it's happening and you get a bit of a heads up that it's uh, it's coming. Um, Kevin Martin Foundation. I had a quick chat with Lee Abbott mm-hmm. before we came in here. Um, they're looking for some... Um, uh, support on the committee there. So if you think you might be keen for a role to go and help our kind of s- separate fundraising yeah. side of the club, um, please do get in touch with Lee. They just finished off doing the lamb, the lamb fundraiser. Did you do? Did you go and eat some of the lamb? No, no. I was unavailable too. But, um, they all organise stuff like that, put some great support into our junior mm-hmm. programs. Um, and, yeah, it's a really worthwhile... Yeah. Um, different entity to the club and the kind of the driver behind our social membership as well so if you mm. um if you think we've got opportunities to drive social membership kmf is the route for that yeah uh what did i just show you a minute ago oh i've got it oh where to put it here oh yeah oh, oh it's great radio this get it on this mic, yeah. radio podcast whatever yeah. we are. oh there we go zip we're like that oh Ooh. it's like an unboxing oh this is exciting what's going on here what is it? Uh, it's it's like a racquetball. So that's what it is. Racquetball. Keep doing that because that's good. I'm really skillful at that. 
in this one. It's a pickleball. Oh, it's a pickleball paddle. It's a pickleball paddle. Pickleball paddle. And a pickleball ball. Nice grip. Nice and yeah. lightweight. So the club have invested. Um, we've got a set of four here. Nice balls. With some, uh, we've got some indoor and outdoor and pickleball outdoor. balls. I don't, there's a difference on the number of holes. Holes, apparently, yeah? yes. More holes in and the And we've outdoor. got a portable pickleball net arriving next week. So just something mm. else alongside, you know, we've got our dartboard and we've got our pool table. Um, um, that's all we've got in on the foosball, foosball? table. Everything else is broken at the moment. Oh, yeah. Kids have been a bit rough with them. What happened with the pool wall? No. Oh, uh, yeah, all right. Well, you mentioned that. Oh, sorry, pool I thought balls. that's what we're leaning into. Parents, can you just check your kids' bedrooms? If you've had a child here, mm. check there isn't um, either one of three eight balls that have gone missing um, or two white balls that have gone missing or a number 14 orange. Did you say three eight balls? Three eight balls. Gone. I've, I've got some suspects. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, but don't be stealing the pool balls. Look after what we've got here. It's Mum and Dad, if one of your children has <coughs> randomly got a pool ball in their room, it, it's come from here. Mm. Please bring it back. And if you're at a pub and there's some... No, don't. No, I'm not encouraging that. Not enough. <laughs> we'll end up with 16 sets. But um, That's okay, though. That's fine. Okay, so... If you're if treat, the... In fact, folks, treat them like hockey balls. Because yeah. I know every single one of you out there, you check in your hockey bag. Mm. There is definitely something in one in there that says S R H C or J L H C. I know it. Or W H C. Yeah. Or M C H C. Or just Melville. I've got bloody loads of those ones. I've got a few VPs. Lots mm-hmm. of VPs. Mm-hmm. S L's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I had a W A one. Once. Yeah. And that, you know, I, I I take pride. Yeah. In those balls. Mm. My pool balls are... <laughs> Keep them here. Get them back here. Yes, please. Yes, yes. But pickleball, yes. Yeah, so we've got yeah. the pickleball net, portable mm. net arriving. Not so great on a wet turf, but on a dry turf in the summer. Perfect. Perfect surface. We've got the little markers so we can mark out the court. Mm. If you don't, if it's a bit wet and you don't want to do it out on the turf, we've got the, the, the tennis courts out the back here uh. from the school. Come and borrow the pickleball gear, mm. pay a deposit. Yep. We don't want these disappearing like the pool balls. Mm-hmm. That's it. And uh, let's out. give it a go. And maybe we could be a, a, a massive summer pickleball club. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? It's taken the US by storm. It might be in the Olympics. One, and one of the fastest. Fremantle hockey Magpie, pickleball. Magpies pickleball. Yes. Who knows? <laughs> no. Come and have a go. Yeah, come and have a go. That's actually, no, it's good. Good initiative. That's nice. Um, what else is going on? Well, I, don't, I think that's about it for me. I don't think there's anything else particularly. Some of the voice is starting to go mm. a little bit now. It's starting to get yeah, a bit Yeah, before we, we need go. need to save it for Saturday. How'd your girls go? Oh, seven eights, we had a 2 0 win. 2 0 win? Oh, no, we lost. Oh. <laughs> you chan- yeah, I was like, you set me up for that, huh? You told me they lost. So no chocolate this way. Uh, no chocolate, no. No chocolate. And, and what, do you, what do you think? What do you think to this, Botsy? I think I'm a very noble human being. My, um, <laughs> I don't know. My, well, you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, our dear listeners would have heard last week's show um, and uh, Maddie Murphy's views on coaching, mm. the particular, the same group that, yep. that, that, that we're talking about. Um, my daughter. Mm-hmm. Wasn't available to play because she had a, um, a school thing on yep. on the Saturday. And I still went along. <laughs> <laughs> That's commitment, man. Yeah. That's, if, you, if you're committed to coaching the team at the start of the year, you have to follow through on that commitment and you've done well. I'm proud of you. Thank well you. Um, I did discover from Maddie mm-hmm. um, over the past week that I'm the head coach. Ah. Oh. And she's the assistant coach. And I thought it was the other way around. So no. we've, like, this is where we've gone wrong all season. All season, yeah. You've got to have the leader. You've yeah. got to have the bad cop and the good cop. Yeah. They, the poor kids, they had two bad cops. <laughs> oh, sorry, um, two bad coaches. <laughs> two bad coaches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor ladies. <laughs> I feel sorry. 
jeez. Uh, All right, so, uh, so, um, so yeah, so where are you going, hockey on the weekend? So oh, oh, we've also, just very quickly, oh, we've, yeah. got our, we've got our midweek oh, successes. Yes. I got it. Um, Thank you very much, Connie, again. For so last, last night we had a men's um, midweek 40s playing in the, um, in the semi for a place in the grandy against Wolves against who knocked them out last week. And that was against Wasps? Yep. Yep, they won one. They had a one-nil win, yep. And they play next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, the 11th, at 6.45 at PHS. PHS. Yep, perfect. And then the Div 3 women, they went through to the grand final... Uh, straight through to the grand final. That's all I've got. Grand final, both for the Div 2 and Div 3 in the midweek women's uh, uh, at Melville. Melville. First, on one against, first one against Peel, Peel at 6.30. After they won 2 0 against Wasps. Uh-huh. Pretty good Wasps, from what I could see, um, at 6.45. And then the second one is 8.30, free OV. And I've got a question mark because I don't think it may I be. I think it's Southern River. I thought it was too. I think they got through last night here. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's more finals coming up. Flag pod next week. So we've got six confirmed mm-hmm. grand finals because there's one of the junior sides. Um, straight through. Straight through. Yep. I think that's the only one that's going to make it. That's mm-hmm. the uh, nine, ten, ten. Div three A girls. Yep. Um, that's six, so five senior and masters, and then the one. Hanging over our heads is uh, what happens on Sunday Sunday afternoon. Um, and it's probably a one side against UWA, 5.45pm. Yeah, it's going to be as tight as last night's game. I don't think And so. as the game before, they, you know, they lost 2-1 in, in extra time. Mm. Uh, uni did against, against Marvel in the yeah, game that's prior. That's what makes me think that it's, it's going to be one way or the other. I don't think it will go all the way. I think it will be... A t- a 2-1 or a 3-5 sort of thing. It will either be real tight and low scoring or it will just there will be no defence. My prediction? 5-2, hmm. 3-0 win. Come on, you magpies. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. You'll, you'll be getting some of that. Yeah. Sweet. Well, um, right, there we go. Um, no other notes from you there? I do have one little special note that I want to... Go on. Just, just a little shout out to uh, my beautiful daughter who's having her... Seventh birthday on Monday. Um, she said I needed to talk about her when I'm talking on the radio. So there you are, Bill. Happy birthday for Monday. Happy birthday, Bill. There you go. So she'll be happy now. Seven going on 17. <laughs> yeah, she just has to listen to us talk for the first, whatever this is, half an hour today. Half hour and then she's falling asleep by then? Yeah. Well, it's I a long hope. drive from Gamelli. I hope... Uh... All you beautiful Magpod listeners out there mm-hmm. are falling asleep to us. Yeah, and get around the supporters. Right now. Get around. Um, we'll see you in the black and white Saturday somewhere Saturday. this weekend. Honey Magpies. Come on. <laughs>